Israel's UAV, the Eitan, was the focus of attention on Monday at the Paris Air Show in Le Bourget. The unmanned plane, the largest ever created in Israel, could have perhaps changed the outcome of the Second Lebanon War and provided Israel the ability to confront the thousands of Hezbollah rockets. It is able to remain in air for 36 hours. <laughs> והמקרה הכי גרוע שיכול להיות, אם הוא ייפול מאיזושהי סיבה, אין שום תקרית כאן ואין שום בעיה פוליטית או בינלאומית. Until recently, the existence of the unmanned plane was highly classified. Its first flight was carried out last summer when the Second Lebanon War began. Then it wasn't fully operational, but now it's an integral part of the Air Force. המטוס יש לו זמן שהייה ארוך, הוא מאוד מהיר. והוא יכול מבחינת הדלק שהוא סוחב לטוס מאוד רחוק. While Israel aircraft industry's personnel are cautious, foreign media reports say the unmanned plane called Eitan in Israel and the Heron TP abroad can remain in the air surveying enemy territory for many hours and on identifying a missile or rocket has the ability to destroy it while taking off. Able to remain in the air for 36 hours, it's enough time to fly to Iran and back. Had it been operational during the Second Lebanon War, experts say Israel's response to the Hezbollah attacks would have been far more effective.